What's it like seeing Maud excel on Euphoria the way she's, I mean, she's crushing. Well, the funny thing about it is I didn't really, you know, like she shoots for so long. Like they shoot for like eight months. Yeah. And so all you do is hear about it. So it's, she talks about the script a little bit. And she talks about a scene or what was hard about the scene. But usually what she'll take home is a discussion of the technical challenge of the scene. Right. So, oh, it was, it was a one or shot that lasted a minute and a half. And I kept screwing it up every time they would get to me. I would screw up my part. And so a lot of like the talk in the house mm -hmm. is about the pressure of just hitting your mark and doing it. So you forget that the scenes are crazy emotional yeah. and challenging and soul ripping. Yeah. So then when I see the show, <laughs> it kind of surprises me how beautiful the work is Yeah. because I, I've just been talking to her about, you know, how much sleep is she getting? How, how does she feel about memorizing a big speech? And is it's it hard for you to watch her? Like I would be like I hate watching myself. Yeah. And if I was if I love somebody very much and I'm watching them, I would just get so terrified for them. I don't even know if I could enjoy it. I, I can watch it just because I really do like the show and I'm as a director blown away by what Sam Levinson is doing and yeah. how he wrapped everything up and, and what the point of the season was, because it really was about the trauma these kids went through and how they act out as a result of it. So I can watch it because cause she's good in it, but certainly the first time I'm pretty clenched the entire time and then hopefully i'll watch it again to really see the nuance of it did you know because i love this show i have started watching it like this season but you know ended up binging the whole thing and it, i mean i just blown away by it but did you did you did you guys i mean obviously she knew did you know how much of the finale of this second season like the two episode would be her like she became the vehicle to push the entire i, I didn't quite understand it I, I i knew that the second to last show she would have a lot more to do. I didn't realize it was going to continue to the last show. And I also didn't realize that emotionally. Yes. That suddenly you re you'd realize that the show was about this friendship that came apart and then it was coming back together. Yeah. At, at which really uh, was powerful. And, and that it was about grief. You know, it was about like fathers and the damage that they can do when they're not around or when they die and or when they're on drugs. And, and I... I yeah, I was I was really impressed just as a writer too, just mm -hmm. going wow. Because how, how do you write a show when you're? He's the director of every episode, right? And he's writing all the episodes. And I just know for myself, you only have so much bandwidth. So yeah. When someone like sticks the landing, you go wow. I know what it took, to, and how many hours you're working on the weekends and writing at lunchtime to pull that off. 